to Alana's Healthy Cooking Show. Today, I'm going to show you how to make a recipe I call Mexican Style Spaghetti Squash. This recipe is really healthy because it has a, a lot of vegetables. It has a cup of green bell peppers that I chopped. It has a half cup of onions. It's about a half a small onion that I chopped. And then it has a cup of mushrooms. This is about four mushrooms that I chopped up. And then my favorite, garlic. It's about four cloves I minced with my big knife. So, um, first I'm going to get started with the vegetables on the stove, and then I'm going to show you how to prepare the squash. So, let me take the vegetables to the skillet. This skillet is a nonstick skillet, and I don't even need to use oil on it because it's so, like, nonstick. So it's really healthy that way. And I've been having it heat up on medium heat for a couple of minutes just to get it heated up. So I'm just going to dump it in, and it makes that big noise, you know, because it's cooking. And then I'm going to add the onions and the garlic. Yeah, garlic. I love smashing it. Mm -hmm. So you just want to stir that in, get it cooking. Very colorful. Once I add the um, salsa and the yellow spaghetti squash, it's going to be a really colorful dish. Now I got to add my spices to flavor it up. So I'm going to add about a teaspoon or so of chili powder. You can add more or less depending on how much you like. I'm going to add about two teaspoons. And then the next is the cumin. I love cumin. It's my, one of my favorite spices. It has like a nice toastiness to it. So that's about a teaspoon or so I'm adding to it. And then I'm going to add about a teaspoon of freshly ground black pepper. This is a mortar and pestle that I use. And I freshly ground the black pepper from the whole black peppercorns. So that it has more flavor, like you sense way more flavor when you freshly ground it instead of buying it pre-packaged that's already ground. So I'm going to add about a teaspoon of that. Maybe a little more. Yeah. There we go. So I'm going to stir that up. And the mushrooms will start to release the water, and that's normal. So it might get a little watery, but then the water will get absorbed again, and then it'll be good. So I'm just going to let that cook for as long as I need to, probably five minutes or so. There we go. So now I'm going to show you the spaghetti squash. This is a yellow spaghetti squash. It's about two and a half pounds. That's about what size you want to use for this recipe, maybe two to three pounds. Um, I just made it easy on myself, cooked it in the microwave, and before you do that, you have to poke holes in it, you know, to let the steam escape. And then I cooked it for about eight to ten minutes. I cooked this ten minutes just to be sure. And then I just cut it open like that. And you want to let it cool because it's really hot, because it's big. So you need to let it cool a little bit before you start dealing with it. So, the first thing you want to do after you cut it in half is get out all the seeds because there's like a ton of seeds in the middle of the squash and you don't really want to taste those because they're kind of not, not very tasty. So, I'm just going to take those out. It's kind of messy. You really need a big cutting board for this. So, just... Use a big cutting board. So I got most of those out. And then I'll just reach in and get these out. Spaghetti squash is a great vegetable because it it's in the shape of spaghetti, but it has hardly any calories because it's a vegetable. And it 
fills you up, but you don't even have to eat that many calories. Like pasta is 200 calories a cup, but this is a lot less. It has plenty of fiber, as you can see, too. That, that really is going to help you fill, fill you up. So I got most of the seeds out. The next thing I'm going to do is get a big bowl. You need a big bowl for this recipe because there's a lot of vegetables I'm going to have to mix in and stuff. So you want to get a big bowl. So all you do is you poke in and get the spaghetti out of the squash. And it comes right out usually. You might have to work it in. Just pull it out. See, it's still hot. I've been letting it cool for like 15 minutes and it's still really hot. Sometimes I use, I use oven mitts sometimes just because I can't stand the heat. Ow. Okay, so I got most of that out. I'm going to work at it later, but for now, I'll, let, I'll leave it like that. See, it's spaghetti. It's like spaghetti. <clears throat> and then the other half I got to get out. This recipe is going to serve about three or four people, maybe more. It depends how much you eat. Of vegetables. My mom and I love vegetables so we'll eat a lot of this so it might only serve two or three with us. Well probably three or four but it might serve more for you if you're not a vegetable lover yet. You gotta get all this out. it out. I'll get it out later. But right now I'm going to heat up the black beans. This is a 15 ounce can of black beans that I rinsed and drained. You really want to get all the sodium off so make sure you water it down real good. So I'm going to just dump that in my skillet to heat the beans up. They're already cooked so I don't need to cook them but I'm just going to mix it into the vegetables to heat it up. There we go. And then there's still seeds in here because I'm not good at getting them all out. So you might want to use this time to get the seeds out while you're waiting for the vegetables to cook. They're like pumpkin seeds, but they're from the spaghetti squash, so. You could probably do something with them if you wanted to. So I'm getting as much out as I can. And then I'm going to try to get more out of this. It's really tough sometimes. But I'm doing the best I can with the squash. Okay. So the next thing you're wanting to you're, you're, the next thing you're gonna want to do you're gonna treat this like spaghetti. So instead of tomato sauce, which a lot of people normally eat with their spaghetti, I'm gonna use salsa. This is about a half cup of salsa. I don't know if I'm gonna use it all, but you just wanna lightly coat the noodles, because that's what they are, until, you know, everything's absorbed. So I'm just going to add a little bit at a time and let it coat. You really want to get it in there. You might have to cut a little bit. Okay, might have to use a little more. I'll probably use all of it. Yeah, I used all of it. Oh well. So 
also is a little high in sodium, so if you have a sodium issue, then you might want to make your own, and then you can control how much sodium is in your salsa. I used a mild salsa because I'm kind of a wimp and I didn't really want a lot of heat, but if you like heat, you could use medium or even a hot salsa if you want. I'm just a wimp, so. It's still flavorful, even without the heat. So look, it's all nicely coated with salsa, just like you would with tomato sauce. Okay, I'm gonna check on my veggies because I'm sure they're probably ready. So let me just wash my hands off because they're all gross. And then I'm gonna pour that in and then it'll be done. So. Mix that in, and then there we go. So you just want to mix that real good. This this dish has tons of vitamins and minerals and antioxidants from all the veggies. You're getting all the fiber and color. You could add some fresh herbs to this if you wanted to, like cilantro. You know, that would brighten it up real good. All the bright green. And you could use a yellow bell pepper too if you wanted to. You could have used a red bell pepper, a yellow bell pepper, an orange bell pepper. You could add more colors to this. But I only had a green one, so that's what I had to use. But it looks like it's ready, so I'm just gonna plate this, and that's the recipe. So, here we go. Thanks for watching Alana's Healthy Cooking Show. Look at my other recipes if you wanna see more, help, more unhealthy eating. Thank you.